Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed an example in which we have used set coils. So today, in this video, we are going to discuss about the same example. But instead of set coils, we will be using memory bits and latching. So let's look at the example first. Example 8. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 will be still on. So, when input is true, all the outputs will be true. And then, when the input is false, then the outputs will still remain true. So, in this case, we will use a memory bit and we will latch it. Then, we will use that memory bit to turn on motors and then when the input is off, the outputs will still remain true. So, let's move to the eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open eco structure machine expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab where there is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using DM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. Here is a device description given. So I am using DM221C24R. It has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line, 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line and select protocol as Modbus ASCII TMH2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will select it as TMH2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. I will click on a full screen mode here and zoom into it. So I will insert a normally open contact here and a coil. Then I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as switch 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as M0. So it is a memory bit. I will also add symbol to it as memory bit. Yes. So when switch 1 is on, memory bit is true. And when switch 1 is off, memory bit is false. So to hold memory bit as true, I will connect another normally open contact and I will connect it like this. I will assign address to this normally open contact same as memory bit that is M0. So when switch 1 is on, memory bit will be true and when switch 1 is off, memory bit will be still true. Then I will add a new rank here. I will insert one normally open contact and four coils for motor one, for motor two, for motor three, and 
for motor 4. I will connect these coils by drawing a line like this. And then I will assign address to the contact as well as the coils. Firstly, I will assign address to the contact as M0, that is memory bit. So we will be using memory bit to turn on the outputs. I will assign address to the coils as Q0.0, .0 then Q0.1, then Q0.2, then Q0.3. I will also add symbols to these coils as motor 1, yes, then motor 2, yes, then motor 3, yes, then motor Four. Yes. So here, when switch one is on, memory bit will be true. And when memory bit will be true, motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four, all the motors will be on. And then, when we turn off switch one, motor bit will be still true as we have blasted it here. When switch 1 is on, memory bit will be true. And when memory bit will be true, all the motors, that is motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4, all the outputs will be on. And then, if we turn off switch 1, memory bit will be still true, as we have last it here. So, when switch 1 is off, memory bit will be still true. And when memory bit is true, then also all the outputs, that is motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4, all are on. So, when switch 1 is on, all the motors, that is motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4, all are on. And then, when switch 1 is off, then also all the motors are on. We will exit full screen mode here and we will compile the program. Then we will go to commissioning and there we will launch simulator. Then we will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to full screen mode. And here, when I put switch 1 on, memory bit will be true. And when memory bit will be true, all the motors are on. That is, motor 1 is true, motor 2 is true, motor 3 is true, and motor 4 is also true. And then, if I turn off switch 1, as we have last here memory bit, on turning off switch 1, memory bit still remains true. And when memory bit is true, obvious all the outputs will be true. That is motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 all are on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.